All right, so definitely the best story of the PFL show was uh, this girl, Ab Abigail Montez, who uh, upset Clarissa Shields. Now, I read some people saying that they felt that this was bad matchmaking for Shields, but I kind of disagree. Um, if you have a fighter that you know, you're working with, it's probably better to uh, let them see what some of their flaws are early rather than them having to find out late when the fights matter a lot more. And this was a fairly even matchup. It wasn't like Montez was overwhelmed Shields. It was a competitive fight. Montez was able to get on top a couple of times and uh, at the end of the fight was able to land uh, you know, some good strikes. And that, that's what ended up getting her the decision. It was a split. I felt she won a unanimous. Um, but it was a split decision, but the right person won. And uh, this is a great story uh, for, you know, kind of an underdog who came in and beat a big name. And uh, Clarissa Shields is going to have to get more acclimated to MMA um, if she wants to, you know, compete regularly because she's going to have to face people that can do the same kind of things to her. And it's probably good that she learned that lesson. A trainer could tell somebody that maybe they're have some flaws in some areas but until they see it in a fight it might be hard to get them to uh, follow along especially someone who's had as much success as shield so i don't necessarily think this is a bad fight to have or or bad matchmaking for that matter